Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to Lottie. Well, what is Lottie? It allows you to basically create and find animations, which you can use in your app. It's really good in that it can sort of make your app look a bit more polished and professional without too much effort. So in Lottie you can select other people's animations, you can choose different colour palettes and it will adjust them accordingly. Uh, you can then go ahead and save them to your workplace. You can download the JSON file that's associated with it and include it inside your React Native project. And from there, you can easily display it inside your app and give the users like a nice experience. You can also download like the GIFs if you want as well, but the JSON's sort of like a good smaller performant um, option. There's also the editor, which you can use to create your own animations. It's got a lot of built-in things, but you can also import your own. Um, I'm going to do a few animations on this. So I've got my bell that I just added, and I've added a pop-out, and I also want to add a rotate. Um, you can sort of see where the animation starts and where it stops, and you can drag those points along accordingly. Um, when you're actually on a um, point, it will show you what percentage you're at, and to, uh, like what rotation you're at, so you can actually edit that. You can even add nodes if you want to edit it further. So I'm like adding a node here, and I can say that I want it to go to a different value here. So if I enter something different, then that's it will work towards that, and then it'll work back towards the other value. So I'm setting that I want it to go to 90 there. It's, yeah, starting at zero. And then I can change this as well if I want to. So I can have it spin back the other direction. Then you can drag that handle across and you can click play. You can see your animation action and make any changes. You can add like more layers if you want different things animating. So you saw the animation I uh, found in the other group of animations and it was something that I could like had a few different things going on. Once you have done with your animation creation, you can save and export. It's going to put it in a workspace. Um, and from there, you can download the JSON. And once again, you can add that to your React Native uh, project under the Assets folder. There are a few different things that are available on Premium, like an optimized um, Lottie JSON. Um, but I think the free version is reasonably sufficient. So I'm going to import Lottie view from Lottie React Native and for this you're actually going to have to install um, Lottie React Native. I'm going ahead and creating an animation um, constant and that's going to use ref. The reason that it will do that is just so that it doesn't re-render every time it changes. I'm going to pass that ref to my Lottie view. It's going to help make my animation a bit more performant. I'm going to set the autoplay of my animation to true. I'm also going to give some style to my animation. So I'm just going to specify the width and height of my animation so it can display on screen. You can change the background color too. This is just me showing that it's sort of like a clear background color by default. Once I've created my style, I can go ahead and apply my style to my Lottie view. I accidentally saved while I was in the middle of this, so it didn't um, work, but that's okay, it will work soon. I'm going to give that animation style to my uh, Lottie view, 
and I'm going to provide the source for my animation. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and drag my Lottie files into this assets folder. So I'm just dragging my two files across, my notification.json, which is the one I created, and success.json. Uh, sometimes you might find that some of them don't render perfectly. Uh, so it might be um, just maybe a more complex um, animation that might not necessarily render well on your device. Um, so you may need to play around. You can sort of see this one's not quite as it was on the web. Um, and that's a bit of a shame, but um, generally I've found reasonably good success. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it would look with my notification one. I'm also going to remove that grey background because it looks a bit ugly. So I'm updating my Lottie JSON to be my own animation that I've just created and you saw me create. So my notification.json and saving that shows my little animation happening. Lottie also sort of gives you the ability to reset and play your animation so you can programmatically do that. So I'm going to create a button here that will um, carry out those actions. And call mine restart animation. And on press, it's going to go ahead and reset that animation. And it's going to also restart that animation. So it's going to call play. Cool. So now you can sort of see I can click restart and it will start again. And I can do that even while it's in the middle of animating as well. So you can sort of see when I click it while it's in the middle of animating, it resets. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.